overarching goals for sustainability at Georgia Tech is really to be both a thought leader as well as an application leader in considering how sustainability impacts our uh, global uh, economy and also our global society. Our business practices are focused on being good environmental stewards through uh, truly everything we do. In terms of energy reduction, we want to have a 26 percent a reduction in energy costs by 2015. The greatest payback of our efforts here at Georgia Tech have been the infrastructure energy efficiency projects. So for example, as of two years ago, we were saving over $3 million a year through our sustainability efforts. Last year, we saved over $5 million a year from our sustainability efforts. This year, we're on target to save $7 million a year. We've created energy baselines for all of our units so they can see their prior energy bills, um, and that's a starting point. We're also looking into getting metering in all of our units and doing spot metering to calculate our energy usage and estimate the savings we'll be getting. GT Dining has committed that all purchases, all future purchases that have Energy Star units available, we will choose Energy Star. Uh, for the past two years, that's been the policy, and um, we've been sticking by it, and it's been doing us, doing us well, saving us energy. We're also embarking on employee um, training regarding energy usage. It's going to be a really big project, and we're collaborating with people um, in, at Emory and across Atlanta, and also with, um, within Sodexo as a corporation to create a program that can be implemented in campuses nationwide to teach employees how to reduce their energy usage and build accountability into the system. So the water usage, uh, we, we also want to have at least a 10% reduction because that was mandated to us uh, back in 2007 when we had the drought. We've met that and we want to have at least another 10% reduction in water usage as well. So we had two dish machines that were uh, changed out recently. One was an old champion machine that really was not a good uh, dish machine. And uh, we had an older version of a Hobart machine. Uh, and so we expect to see a significant water reduction uh, from that. I think at least a 20% water reduction in that volume those machines were using. We're saving about 840,000 gallons of water a year just by updating two of our dish machines to new Hobart units. During the drought of 2007, we needed to reduce our water usage significantly, and we found that by eliminating trays, we could save thousands of gallons a year. Um, so we've eliminated trays completely in our two dining, resident dining locations, and um, we are probably 80% trailless in the Student Center Food Court. We have signage up encouraging students to go without trays, and oftentimes they do. We've gone low flow across campus, and um, our low flow faucets can actually reduce water usage by 40% per unit. Um, and we calculate approximately the average savings on those installations is about a little over $3,000, which is pretty great. We started composting in uh, 2008, uh, and I believe this year we're actually going to exceed 300 tons of uh, composting averting uh, landfill. We are going for zero waste in all of our units. Um, that's a really lofty goal. It's going to, especially in our retail units, so it's going to take a lot of um, work on choosing our products in such a way where we won't have handy wrap around them and things like that. Um, but in our resident dining halls, we're 98% waste neutral, which is huge. We work with GreenCo. They're a local company in South Georgia that um, takes all of our food waste and puts it into these massive eight-foot windrows that they turn and um, they create really rich compost. Then one of the more visible programs that we have is game day recycling. We felt that was important because when we have a game, over 50,000 people come and want to participate with Georgia Tech, so why not engage them in a program that'll make a difference? All the cooking oil from our kitchens is um, recycled by Perfect Circle Energy, and it is turned into biodiesel, about 2,600 gallons a year, that is used to cross campus in our landscaping vehicles. Um, so all of our landscaping is done with green energy. GT Dining has switched over to all single pole napkin dispensers and this can reduce our napkin use on campus by about 40 percent. I know it's a very big deal here in the campus for us to use locally grown and organic food. Two of our primary um, local and organic vendors are Fresh Point and Destiny Organics. 
um, through that relationship, uh, and I'll give you a prime example. Um, you know, Destiny can go straight to the farmer in Canton, Georgia, and say, "We need cucumbers," and um, and they know that they're actually producing cucumbers for Georgia Tech. We have. 80% of our uh, student center food court salad bar that is local and or organic. Um, and we use an identifying program to show that. All the food they've been identified, where, who go them and where they came from and at the distance they travel before they, they get here. So we got the fo picture of the farmers and the address of the farm and the distance they came from. <laughs> Some advice for someone who is really just starting on the sustainability journey would be that you should consider every possible aspect of sustainability, no matter how large or how small. Don't be intimidated. There's going to be a million projects you can do. Just pick one and go with it. <laughs>